Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Miami's been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. football matchup Bobby Dodd Stadium here in Atlanta before we head down to the field for the coin toss we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero real Coke taste zero calories enjoy everything Georgia Tech is kicking off first and we're ready to get this game underway He's to the 20. Tackle at the 31. Miami's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. From their own 31 yard line, second down. He scrambled, slides down to the ground. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. Jackson is back awaiting the punt. Jackson fields it at the 22. Brought down at the 29. The offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Tackle at about the 27 yard line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 27. They'll bring him down at the 29 yard line. strike and he can't pull it in that'll make it fourth and ten Schmidt awaits the snap and he's taken down at the 45. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He's at the 40. 
makes it to the 34. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From the 34-yard line, first down. He's at the 20, makes it to the 14. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From the 10 yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. It's a fumble. It's recovered. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost him. the 14-yard line. It's third down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Allen gains six yards with a short completion. Miami could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up. And they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And now he pitches it. Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. hit out of bounds around the 42 yard line you talk about a dual threat guy this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground and he's tackled at the 45 yard line Second, and seven. second down and seven. Ball on the 45. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. He laterals. He's knocked out of bounds around the 48 yard line. Junior. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 34. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. They make the stop at about the 31. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. And a great ball game so far as we reach the end of one. Three nothing, Miami.
Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. He's got an opening. And they push him out at about the nine-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. This is the eighth play of this drive. Taken down around the seven yard line. Call it a game of two yards. That brings up second and goal. From the seven yard line. Second down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. They'll drop him for a loss. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Play action. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Georgia Tech is down three and looking to tie it up. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Smith looks ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. He makes it to the 28-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Looking for the corner. Makes it to the 37. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And this is going to be a first down. And he's taken down at the 41. So they'll pick up a first down there on a four-yard completion. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad. And it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on their own 45. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes at about the 45. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. out of bounds at about the 41 that makes it second and six it's second down six yards to go ball on the 41 he fights forward to about the 39 And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Zips it to the tight end. He's tackled to the 38-yard line. Big stop by the defense.
You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Fires incomplete. You know, he's been working really hard lately on this fundamentals. In fact, the other day in practice, I was really watching him work with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looked like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Fires complete over the middle. Brought down at the 47. from the 47 yard line. It's first down. Tackle at the 35 yard line. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. He's out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 35-yard line. Scrambling around, and they got it. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Georgia Tech is going to use their first time out of the half here. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. He launches one for the end zone. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. That makes it fourth and long. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They'll bring him down at the 28. Gain of eight on the play. That, that makes it second, second and two. two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Let's go! Five to the five! Five to the five! hit immediately so at the end of the half and this one's knotted up at three glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder, 
if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use this strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Great first half of a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. Gathered in at the six. Looking for the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 44. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. They give it to the fullback on the option. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. That makes it second and ten. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. They bring him down in the backfield. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. through the air has made it first and ten. And now he pitches it. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Well, I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Third down again. Quick throw out to the receiver. Nice play to set up first and goal. The option can be really tough to defend, but that time it was well played by the defense. They're at the five. Second down. Gets to about the five yard line. That makes it 30 goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. And he's stopped behind the line. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. 
Georgia Tech could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Smith has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From the seven. Oh, man, did he take a hit. The Yellow Jackets continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Now he's scrambling. Dives forward. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really liked the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Dawson sets up the play action. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. Call it a five yards. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Allen comes away with five yards on the carry. That brings him second and five. short of the line of scrimmage. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, Georgia Tech leads 6-3. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. the stop at the 31-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's got the corner, and he tackles him hard at the 31. This is the ninth play of this drive. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. He's taken down right around the 20. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From the 20-yard line, first down. the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And he's immediately tackled. First, first down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Eight 
Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Play 13 of the current drive. And he's tackled right away. That makes it third and goal. Third and goal for the lead. Less than three minutes in the game. He's going to try and scramble. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. And he adds the extra point. So a 14-play, 73-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The Yellow Jackets have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of three yards on the way. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Going right to his tailback, and down he goes at the 27-yard line. That'll make it 35. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 35. Just under two minutes in the game. He scrambled. They bring him down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So we're looking at another third down here. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ballgame, and now the offense has got a chance to win it. Throws it deep. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ballgame. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Makes it out to about the 23. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. First and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Allen gets about four yards on the play. Georgia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Miami is up four. 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. Georgia Tech's called their final timeout. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. at the 12-yard line. You know, the offense right now just seems to be managing the clock. Man. Another first down, they'll move the sticks, and they'll start the clock again, but offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry at this point. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. And the ball game's over. The Hurricanes get the victory. 10-6. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.